In this episode, we're going to look at taking a JavaScript front-end application and we're going to do a OAuth into our Rails backend. So for example, if we authenticate with Google, then this is going to do the OAuth sign-in and then sign us into the application. And then also we're going to look at creating the endpoints to sign out, which would then invalidate that token. And then we're also going to look at the GitHub integration with the OAuth, where once you sign in and authenticate, it's going to show you your account information. And likewise, with the Google authentication, you can sign out to invalidate the token. And for the client side part of the application, I'm going to use the Jdash Toker library. And there's many other possibilities that you can use for Angular or React. However, this one does work with React. And for this half of the application, we're going to use their demo. And the only thing that we're really going to have to override is within the main demo file where we are setting the API URL. And then we'll set the different parameters for the URI endpoints. But other than that, I really didn't have to do anything with this example. It just pretty much worked. So I think it would be a pretty good starting point if you want to figure out how they are building this React component so you can implement it within your own site. Or depending on your use case, you might have another method of doing the authentication on the client side, whether it is with a iOS application, Android application, or with a client side framework. In this episode, we're going to look at doing the server side of this application, where we are going to take in the user request for the OmniAuth, and then we're going to handle the authentication as well. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.